Hello and welcome to Coffee Lovers TV. Joseph here on the show today. We're going to be enjoying this wonderful coffee from Indie Coffee Roasters. Now I met uh, the folks at Indie Coffee Roasters at the Specialty Coffee Association's Global Coffee Expo uh, that was in April of this year. Uh, I got to try out their coffee and see what they're all about. I'm making some really good stuff. So they actually gave me, uh, this is a Limu, which is an Ethiopian coffee. Uh, a little bit about Indie Coffee Roasters. Uh, so they're based out of Carmel, Indiana, and they actually started uh, roasting at home using a popcorn popper, an old popcorn popper. That's kind of a, one of the popular ways to uh, roast coffee at home in the sort of home roaster enthusiast uh, market, just because all you need is one of those old popcorn poppers. Now, if you're curious about that, um, you can't just use any old popcorn popper. I'll have to get into home roasting in another video. That's for another time. So they started off that way, making their own coffee, got really popular, uh, and eventually they they started the roasting business. And it's actually named after their their dog. So Indy, Indy's the dog. Uh, lots of pictures of him on the website, so I'll link below to the website there. You can check it out. Now this uh, Limo coffee is from the Aromia region, and there's actually a little bit of information. It's uh, the Walenso Cabele community and the Chilbu farm. So interesting that uh, they have this trace to the farm in Ethiopia. Um, that's fun to see. And it is a naturally processed coffee, so uh, it's quite aromatic, which is really nice. I brewed it up on the Kalita Wave, and this has been sitting here. It's, it's nice and cooled off. Uh, it's still, still hot, of course, but uh, it's cooled enough that we'll be able to explore some of the tastes. I'm gonna go in and have a smell of this first here, though, because it has the uh, the whole bean has a really nice like lime brightness and whininess to it. So it has has kind of like the has the pungentness of wine, should I say? I mean that's kind of like the natural processing in there. A little bit of fermented fruit sort of. But kind of smells like wine, but like a bright limey sort of wine. Uh, their to their uh, tasting notes on here are pineapple, chocolate and grape. Um, so it's quite likely the brightness that I get on there is from the pineapple. The, uh, the aroma on the coffee is quite delicate actually. I actually get, I get a lot of, I get like fresh flowers on this. That's kind of cool. Could also be smelling a pineapple, but I get a real floral scent. Like almost, uh, almost perfume-like, almost like rose, roses. Uh, now, I did brew this up on the Kalita Wave, as I said. Oftentimes, I just brew however I like, but sometimes I do consider different brewing methods for uh, the coffees. Uh, with naturally processed coffees, fruity coffees, I actually really like the Kalita Wave because it brings out a lot of the deeper richness, I think, that is from the natural process. Uh, this would also brew very well on a V60. I think it would highlight some of the brighter acidity, maybe a little bit more because the first sip of this I get is really rich. Um, there's a lot of like chocolate on it. And then as that fades down, I can see I can see the grape. It's actually not, it doesn't come off as too complex, which is not surprising with a natural. It also isn't overwhelming me with a particular fruit flavor. A lot of the sweetness there is chocolate. I could pick out a bit of wine-like characteristic to the taste too. And then I definitely, maybe that's, maybe that's why uh, they say grape here and that's why I'm going to wine because, because it's kind of a grape flavor, but it's got this um, fermentation to it. So wine, right? <laughs> this is really nice. One of the things I like about coffees like this and why I often drift towards natural processed coffees is because there are tastes you can explore, but you can also just kick back and just really like and enjoy the taste that just hits you. So you can you can sit here and kind of get the chocolatiness and the light fruitness, which you could see as pineapple. That's just a good coffee. So, Indie Coffee Roasters out of Carmel, Indiana. You can actually, uh, you can actually still get, as I'm recording this, you can still get this particular coffee on the site. Uh, so I'll link to that below. Um, I definitely recommend checking it out. 
it's tasty. I'm sure that the rest of their coffees that they um, that they are roasting are going to be just as delicious as well. I had, I think at the show, they also had a geisha, which I was really getting into. Um, that was quite quite delicious, I, I somewhat recall. It's, it's always tricky at uh, the coffee conventions like that because um, it's the Global Coffee Expo. It's three days of walking over a show floor that has like a thousand businesses and you know, you're surrounded by tens of thousands of people and I'm, I'm constantly trying coffees from everyone. Uh, so it's hard to pick out in memory. Um, but I remember trying some other things of theirs and they were, they were quite delicious. So excellent roaster and, and fun little packaging. Really cool. I do believe that they have a uh, actual like cafe sort of location. So if you find yourself in Carmel, Indiana, go visit them, check them out. It's Indie Coffee Roasters. And that's been their Limu Ethiopia Coffee. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, leave them below in the comments. Happy to answer and talk coffee. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.